Alright, welcome back to another video on NIU Network. Now, I know I haven't made a video in quite a while, and uh, I'll explain why in a second. But first, I wanted to be talking about my new project. Now, this is probably a big reason why I haven't made a video, because I've been working on the software project for quite a while. And also, due to the storm in Boston, we had power outage, and that's also adds to why I haven't made a video in quite a while. So, uh, with no more to with no more explaining to do, I can go ahead and show you what the software does and uh, how you can use it. So this software will go on my website, NIU.network, and I will leave a link in the description to download it. But please note that this software is only a beta version. As you see, if you go into About, it's called Speed Edition version 1.0 Beta 1, copyright, blah, 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 and it's credits to me, obviously. Okay, so we don't need to read all that. So first of all, uh, let me talk about this for a second. Uh, now, I made this in Microsoft Visual Studios using the uh, C-sharp language to code it. So basically what it does is makes it you better at adding numbers. Now, you've probably seen this pretty useless, but it's actually pretty cool. So let me just go ahead and show you how you can use this. So first of all, I'm going to follow the instruction and uh, select my level. So I'm just, let's say I'm going to select level 4. Now basically what the numbers mean is that if I select 1, the digits are going, uh, the numbers you're going to get, and these are completely random. So this is uh, generating using random number generator. These, if you select level 1, these, level, uh, these numbers are going to be lower than 10. If you select 2, these numbers are going to be between um, 10 and 100. 3, 100 and 1,000 for um, 1,000 and 10,000, so you get the idea. So, uh, let me just go ahead and show you what it can actually do. So let's go ahead and do a level three, just to uh, not waste time here. So let's go ahead and find the answer. As you see, uh, this is what it does. This creates a line in the log, and it says correct 523 plus 127 plus 650. You took four point blah, blah, blah. You, yeah, you get the idea. It has a timer inside it, so um, now every time you finish a question, the timer triggers, so obviously when I do this problem, it's going to give me a massive amount of time because I took a lot of time to talk, so there we go, you see? So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's pretty cool, and when you get a question wrong, it just says wrong, and be like, yeah, so, um, so definitely go ahead and try this out. You can clear the log using this clear button. Uh, you can use this next question saying, but you can just go ahead and type in the answer and click enter, and obviously that's wrong. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this in the description, so you can go ahead and download it and play around with it. I'm not exactly sure, but um, that's all for this video. I will be posting new videos on the trigonometry course very soon, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video.